everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm unboxing kit number 46 from the Papercraft Society and already I know I'm going to love this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the box. If you're new to Papercraft Society and my unboxing videos, whatever the pattern, the design, the theme is on the box is a indication of what's inside. And usually the paper that is on here or the design is in a paper form inside the, uh, the kit. Isn't it gorgeous? So, so sweet. So let's have a look inside. So first of all, you always have a little quote from the designer. So we can forecast crafting with a hint of chocolate. And this is from Ruth. Ruth last did a kit. I'm just looking. It looks like it was box 22, which was sunflowers. And then before that, she did box number five. So this is Ruth's third um, kit now. So first of all, I always like to look inside the wallet. Just pop that to one side. So again, we've got gorgeous design there with the beads. Um, as always, don't forget to share anything you make using the Papercraft Society. If you use the hashtag Papercraft Society, then the guys, the team will be able to see what you've been making. So I have already taken away all of the, the plastic just so that there was, you know, li little glare really. So let's look at the, you get quite a lot. You've got stencils, dies, vellum, paper and the stamps. So let's just flip this over here. So this is the stamp set. So you've got this lovely flower stamp here. You've got a little bee stamp there and you've got the happy you've got the honeycomb design and then you've got your sentiments sweet as can be then you have this large bee stamp birthday on its own and then this one was just one stamp but it's bee kind i like that I like the way they've used that image and then you've got another bee there and then you've got the bee trail which has got a heart gorgeous flower stamp there some other like scribble kind of flowers little leaves a little flower there as well and the beehive there in the middle as well very very cute then in the die set we have i think it's this way so we've got the happy and kind very thin like script dies you've got a bee die you've got another bee die with a face there honeycomb die a heart that one there looks like it's the same shape as the little leaves on there the flower there and then this massive flower die this is huge You've got your embossing detail there. I imagine that looked really nice cut in gold mirrored card. You could probably even um, use your inks with a brayer over that as well. And maybe get all that detail coming through. So I look forward to having a play around with that. Then we've got the, oh no, it's not vellum. This sounds to me like it's shrink plastic because it's, it's, um, cloudy on one side and smooth on the other so I think that's shrink plastic which is good I have got shrink plastic but I haven't used it for a long long time so it's always nice to be reminded of those techniques and then we've got these look like layering stencils so you've got your outline you probably do still see it there there we go so you've got your outline b and then you've got the detail which would be nice You've got your small little bees there and the honeycomb as well. So I imagine you can create some really nice effects with that. And then the papers. So we've got here the honeycomb. We've got the bees there. So that's the packaging design. This is the design. Oh, that's that one. That's the design on the envelope. Very, very cute. And then we've got all the bees there. And then this one's the bees, the honeycomb and the little flowers there very very sweet love the color uh, color palette of this one so that's everything inside the envelope let's see what's inside the tissue paper okay so we've got a pen feels like sequins or something there the cardstock and the booklet oh no it's not ah okay i am thinking they are for when you use the shrink plastic you can make earrings you could also have little key rings little gift tags and things like that so that's different actually i quite like that it's encouraging me to make something a bit different than i usually would this is just a fine liner so let's see inside your booklet you have your contents so we'll have a look at that in a moment here's your coordinating cardstock so we've got it's white core you've got the black double-sided you've got the blue two blues and two yellows so they coordinate perfectly with the pattern papers so this is Ruth with the box there. So let's see what that pen is and double check that it is the shrink plastic. I'm pretty sure it is. So A, shrink plastic, there we go. Five A5 sheets of translucent shrink plastic, which is great. And yeah, this is a black fine line pen. Great for adding outlines and detail to your stamps and die cut images. This is an essential addition to your stash. 
Okay, so as always, I'm not going to show too many of the samples. You get about 16 in the magazine. This one here is really, really sweet. So these have been designed by Glynis. And she's, I love the cute little beehive there. I think that's very, very sweet. You can see how she's used the stamp bee with the die happy there. She's created a lovely aperture there with the honeycomb, which is really sweet. And you can see how that floral stamp looks there as well. There's a close up of that card. And then here is a card that Nikki's made using the shrink plastic. So she's used the bee that she's, oh, that's the stencil bee. So that big stencil you can see here on the shrink plastic, heat set it, so then it shrinks it down. And then she's made it as a little dangle in the aperture of the card there. I think that's really nice and you could I imagine she may well have done it but it might be detachable because then that's nice for someone to keep maybe it could be a little decoration Christmas time using your shrink plastic you can make tree decorations which would look really sweet so that's everything inside box 46 from the Papercraft Society I will have a direct link to this box if it's available as open stock below the video I'll also share a link to the Papercraft Society like I said if you're new to my channel new to these videos and you'd like to find out a bit more it's a subscription box and you can choose to have a monthly subscription, a quarterly subscription, six monthly or yearly. Yearly does end up working out cheaper per box. And you've also got the option of open stock as well if there's any units left over. Also with the subscriptions, you can pause them because you do get to see the unboxings of the next kit that's coming. So if it's something that you think you're not really gonna like, you can pause your subscription and just skip that one and then wait for the next one to be revealed. Every month is a different designer and it's a great way to get you crafting out of your comfort zone and trying things that you may not have tried before. I'll have coming up now some more unboxings and if I didn't share it before I'll put the link to all of the Papercraft Society kits there. I've unboxed every single one so you can have a little look at those and get a bit of a feel of kind of what you get and how much of a variety you know in terms of theme and style that there are with the kits. As always thank you for watching today and I'll be back again very soon. Bye!